The journey to diagnosis has been a long one for Nicola's family. Finally, they have seen the effect that Fabry disease has brought upon them. What is their future with Fabry? When a diagnosis of Fabry disease is made, it's always a very difficult time for the family. So they usually come to the MPS Society where they'll be supported by the advocacy officer who will listen to them on the telephone, give them an information pack, offer a home visit and really look at what else in the support they need. The MPS Society contacted my sister to ask if she would mind if they looked into where the Fabre came from and then they started looking into the family history to see who had Fabre and who didn't have Fabre. They were trying to work out what the link was. Pedigree analysis is important in terms of looking at how the disease manifests itself and gives clues to the pathway the disease might go. I think it's difficult for the families to have to tell people in their family that they may be affected by Fabry disease. And because of the pattern of inheritance, there are times when we can make some assumptions that the individual may be affected by Fabry disease. So being able to make informed decisions and know whether you may or may not be at risk of Fabry disease, I think is important. Most patients generally agree to have pedigree analysis conducted. When they're first diagnosed with Fabry disease, the initial focus should be on their own condition and how they could be um, monitored and treated and their symptoms alleviated. However, once they've come to realisation about their own condition, it's then important to try to explore with them how it may impact on other family members. We always leave that door open and the opportunity to discuss the family tree and pedigree tracing is always there. When I found out about Fabre, I was scared. In fact, I didn't want to look at it. And the most important thing is to look at it because then you can do something about it. We had to go and make peace with it separately. It does affect how we see the future, doesn't it, having Fabry? But we try not to. So we still plan when we can shake off the children and lose them, how, how we're going to live and what we're going to do. And we kind of don't include Fabry in it. But then as you're unpacking it and talking about it, you suddenly think, well, hang on a minute. She can't be away from here for longer than several weeks. She needs to be within reach of the people that care for her and understand the disease. Fabres is added as a, a later consideration. If I hadn't been diagnosed with Fabre, it would mean I still had it, I just wouldn't know about it, which is what happened to a lot of my family. Well, everyone has problems in their family, really. You have to be really, really lucky for at least one person not to have some sort of illness, yeah. so we're not really any different. It's not about majoring on the illness. It's actually looking at the possibilities that are there despite, or maybe even because of the illness. When we first found out about it, we thought, okay, this is gonna be life-changing, completely everything up in the air. We still are who we were before we found out about it. We've just got something else unique about us, really. It doesn't impact on my life as much now because we've all kind of come to terms with it and got used to it and it is now our normal and we've all kind of created our family kind of around it and we haven't really let it impact us as a family. I don't think my family have become Fabre, the Fabre has become our family. In a way, because I've got Fabre disease, I look after my body better because they check my heart and they check my kidney function. So I'm not likely to drop down dead of something because they're checking it. I am me and I have Fabre. It's now part of the thing that makes me me. You get shaped by your experiences in life anyway. So it has shaped us, hasn't it? Cool, yeah. My hopes for the future, just like anyone else's, I would say, I want to learn to live well. I want to see my children have children. <laughs>